Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use styles, how to make use of them, and why they're useful in Moho Pro 13. So let's just get right into it. Why are styles useful? Because you can do this, okay? You see this dog right here? If I go underneath styles and click on the style named skin, I can easily change the color of his skin just by changing this color right here. Okay, so now you can see his, his whole body is changing. Okay, even the side view and the back view. It's because all these shapes right here, the ears and the chest, all these shapes are underneath the style skin. If I go underneath the style and choose shirt, you can see how his shirt is a dark green right now. And let's just say I change it to blue. Okay, so it's very simple. All you have to do is just go to the style that you want, the style that all of these objects are named underneath, okay, and then just change it to the color that you want. Okay, so I'm going to press Control Z, get him looking back good and normal. Anyway, so styles are cool also because if you wanted to change the thickness that this guy has, let's just Let's just say that this thickness is 20. So I'd add a zero, enter, and now you can see he's, uh, he's a lot thicker, okay? So anyway, I'm not gonna do that. I'll change it back to two. And let's learn how to make styles now that you know what they are used for and why they can be useful. So let's make a new, new little project. I'm going to add some shapes, okay? So let's just add some shapes, some enough circles. Let's switch to triangles. And they're all green right now, but we're gonna make them to different colors. That's enough triangles. Let's add some squares and rectangles. And once you guys start using styles and actually like using them in your workflow, you're gonna see how much you speed up, okay? So we have all these shapes right here, they're all green. I'm gonna select I'm gonna select some randomly and just change the color. So these are gonna be red, that's good. And when I'm also, good, make sure that these have strokes, okay? That's what I've got to say. Just click that stroke and we're good. Now I'm gonna select some more shapes. So this, this, maybe some shapes I already selected. And now let's change these to a yellow color. Okay, the only reason why these are different colors is for demonstration purposes, okay? So, this one last one, let's change it to blue, why not, okay? Now that all of these are different colors, I can make a good demonstration out of styles. So, make sure underneath your style panel that you have advanced checked. Once you have that checked, go underneath the styles, create new, and name it whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name it, I don't know, let's name it whatever, literally whatever, okay? <laughs> okay, so now if we select some objects, okay, select all but two of these, okay, just to show you. So I have all these objects selected except for two of them. Now I'm going to go underneath the style one. Right now it says none. If I click on it and just choose whatever, okay, that name, you can now see they're all the same color, okay? They're the color as this color right here, okay? You can easily change all of them. You can change the color, you can change the thickness and the opacity of these shapes just by changing this one property right here, okay? And I think that's pretty cool. So if you guys wanted to, let's just get this right there. And now if we go to the uh, Styles tab, and if we change this opacity, you can now see that they all have lower opacity. If I change the thickness, okay, so it affects all the objects that's underneath this one style, okay? So that's that. I hope you find you guys found this useful. 
I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know so I can keep making videos just like this. If you need anything done on Moho Pro, let me know. If you need any tutorials or any tips or anything that you don't know that you would like to know, just let me know so I can let you know how to do it. That's it for today. This video was a little bit over five minutes. I think that's good. I'll see you next time.